All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in today's video, we're just going to do a flight with the DJI Avada. No overdramatic intro, no special effects, nothing like that, no music. We're just going to get a regular flight in. Uh, I haven't really been flying this as much. As you notice, I have the orange props back on here and not the Master Air Screw uh, four bladed props. I'll give you a story on that while we're flying, but uh, you know, just hang tight and we'll get the drone up in the air. All right, so I'm gonna place it in manual mode and put my gimbal at a 15 degree tilt. Start the engines. All right, let's go ahead. All right, so it's been a while since I've flown this, or I haven't really been flying the Avada too often uh, because you know, I wasn't able to, and then I did send this in for uh, actually like a month or so ago. And once I got it back, I really didn't uh, fly it. But I was having problems with my GPS. It wasn't picking up GPS, and it was probably due to crashing. Crashing it, a uh, big heavy crash, a uh, big crash. It might have happened when I tried to do a dive and actually dove right into the ground. And, um, but other than that, I haven't really sustained any damage to the drone, like major damage where I would have to send it in. But like I said, I sent it in like a month or so ago, back to DJI, I used the Care Refresh. And I got, it, it was like a week process Sent it in, got there within a few days, and then they immediately sent me a replacement back. So I'm trying to take it easy because, like I said, I just got this back and I really don't want to uh, crash it uh, too much. I mean, I can tell you as a newcomer to the FPV world. I have been crashing this a lot. I mean, that's pretty much the only way you'll learn manual mode or learn acro. And this uh, is a pretty tough drone. And I would recommend if you are trying to learn acro, I mean, learning on this I mean, some people say it's, you know, not a true FPV drone. It's not, I mean, it's a, it's a center whoop, but you do learn the fundamentals of flying acro. That's the most important part. And then you can also, you know, you can upgrade to something different, a so-called real FPV drone, which I haven't done so yet. I haven't done that yet. But, you know, I'm looking into it. Like I said, I don't fly as much as I want to, so right now this is good enough. Now, like I mentioned, I did have the Master Air Screw props on here. Now, just to recap, I did do a review on it. Uh, they, I was interested in them. I reached out to Master Air Screw. I'm like, you know, can I review your your new props for the Avada? And uh, immediately did the review for the four blade and three blade. Now, the three blades are supposed to uh, be more for the performance and the handling and all that stuff. And the four blade, no, actually, I'm sorry, I got that wrong. The three blade is mainly supposed to reduce the, the sound signature. And I did uh, the, I did the sound test and uh, noticed that it wasn't really too much of a difference. It was a different type of sound, basically. But the, and it was a non-scientific test, so 
the volume of it or the decibels didn't seem like it was any less. But they did advertise it's supposed to be like one decibel less than the normal props that you get on the Avada. Now, with the four blade, it was supposed to increase the performance and actually it did. I mean, well, to me it did. It seemed like I had a lot, of, a lot more handle over the controls and granted that I did, I was flying in a windy condition or windy conditions and um, it felt a little better than the, the three blade props. So uh, I was liking those and then I came back out here to fly again and uh, of course you know I'm trying to zip through things and whatever and crashed into a tree or a pole. I think it was the tree that I crashed into. And those things, well, one of them basically disintegrated. <laughs> it broke into like six different pieces. Damn, prop is done. And I kind of figured that would happen if I were to crash because the master air screw props we're a little stiffer than the stock props and also stiffer than the orange ones I have on here now. Now with the frame of the Avada, the frame is very durable and it flexes a little bit of course when you crash. Now the props, the master air screw props is a tight fit in the uh, the wells or the what do you call it the um, the ducts they're a tight fit in there and it's not much room from the edge of the props to the the frame it's a little bit less than what the stock ones are and if that frame flexes it impacts the the um, the props and if the props are very rigid, those things are gonna, you know, is gonna break. There's no give in it, so it'll break. And those actually broke in like six different pieces. And all the crashes that I've had, and I've had plenty of hard crashes with these orange props and also with these stock props. And that pretty much never happened. It was one time where I broke an orange prop, um, but it didn't break like what uh, the master has grew. It was basically nothing left on the prop, just a little center part, a little center circle part was left on the motor. So with all that said, when if you Considering buying those, I mean, I have no doubt that Master Air Screw has some nice props, but on the DJ Avada, on especially when this DJ Avada is made for crashing, um, it may not be a good idea unless they come up with some more flexible props. That would be nice if they come, you know, make it a little bit more flexible and more durable for the DJ Avada, specifically. You know? Now the other props, or the other drones that they make them for, like the Mini 3, the, you know, Air 2S and Mavic 3 or something like that. Now those, those aren't really made to be flying like this, so, you know, rigid props on that should be fine because you're not really crashing those drones too much unless you're like really reckless with it. So my battery's low. I started out with a low battery anyway, but i uh, only been gone for 10 minutes here. 
So I'm going to get a little bit more practice in. I'm going to bring this in in a minute, bring it down to 20% battery. And um, actually, this is like a little warm up here. I'm going to try to do a little bit more. So just stay tuned. All right, so I only have 27% left on my goggles. I only have one battery, so let's try to get this in the air right now. Actually, let's tilt it up to 20%. 20 degree. Ready? Trying to get used to the 20 degree pitch. <laughs> yeah, I used to be a little bit more confident with this, but once you stop, you know, it takes a little while to get a little bit, you know, comfortable with this. It takes a while to get comfortable. So. Say something like that. Now, I like to fly around here. Usually, there's people like walking around this uh, this path here. But today has been pretty quiet. I'm surprised because it's a nice day. Hopefully I'm recording my audio on my mic. If not, then we'll deal with it. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. See, I'm a little wonky right now, man. I need to get back on the, the simulator and practice a little bit more. A little wonky. Like I said, I was a little bit more confident on the controls. Earlier on. And those that tree for some reason does not bloom. And I can never see those those branches. I crashed in that I crashed to those little branches uh, the last time I flew. Or maybe two times ago. Can never see those. But this is what I like doing here, just going through. I was going to try that, but not that one. Here we go. I'm going to come back around and go through those trees there. Maybe go through, see if I can go through here, yeah. Here we go. Whoa. Headed in the wrong direction. Yeah, man, I don't know what, what it is. <laughs> I'm just like, seem like I'm nervous on the sticks right now. I guess I just don't want to crash it and have to send it back again. little flight today nice day and I wonder how the guy will feel if I uh, was to actually fly next time but don't want to do that Let them do the job and, you know, 
won't cause any trouble. I um, do want to try a dive here. Uh, I'll try it on the other field. I don't think anybody is mowing on the other field. I have 59%, 20% battery on my goggles. I'm probably gonna have to bring it in because of my goggles. I don't think anybody's mowing here, so let's uh, bring it up. Nice. A little close there, but. Seven percent, eighteen percent battery on the goggles. I might put a little bit of music to this, just in the background. I know I mentioned that it was not going to be any music, but so this is my progress so far. I've had this for about six months. I think it's been six months now since I've got it. Um, and it's been like a couple months of really not flying as much. When I first got it, I was heavy into it. But then, you know, life happens and stuff, work and everything, so I haven't really got the opportunity to, we've well, gotten too many opportunities to come out and fly. So, and also on the simulator, I haven't really been on the simulator like I should have. try something here I'm trying to come through here and I wanted to go behind this sign here one time and I chickened out here we go through there here we go 16% so I think I should be good and that'll wrap it up after that but I forgot to mention if you guys are enjoying this this is pretty much entertainment purposes only. No tutorials. Just a good old flight. And if you are enjoying this, please give it a like. It does help you to push it out to more people who are looking for stuff kind of like this, you know? In reference to the DJI Avada. I'm getting a low battery warning. I gotta smooth that out, but I've been trying to, <laughs> trying to master that little whatever flat spin or whatever you want to call it. Now I hear somebody on a trail now. I need to actually come back and uh, I'll land when he actually, or she, is that a he or she? Yeah. Put this in normal mode. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> it is cool. You got to try it. Oh, I bet. <laughs> Probably not going to invest the, in it or the time and effort. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I don't really have the need. Yeah. Yeah, it's just fun. It's a hobby. Is it? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a hobby. I'm just gonna bring it in for a landing real quick. Hold on, let me just shut this off here. Do you have a business or something you use it with? Uh, I have a YouTube channel. Oh, okay. So 
sometimes I got come out here and fly and make videos and stuff. So I do like tutorials and editing videos and reviews and stuff. You know, this and e-bikes as well. Oh, yeah, thanks. Have a good day. You too. Thanks Take care. For yeah, today. yeah, no problem. Always. If you search Chad B and drones, you'll Chad see. And yeah. And uh, yeah, that's my channel. All right, so that gentleman uh, just stopped by and asked some questions. He was a little curious and, you know, told him it was a hobby for me and gave him uh, information about my, my channel. So hopefully he, you know, goes and likes it and actually subscribe. Hopefully that's a potential subscriber. So, all right, so that's it for today's flight. I'm still a little bit behind the curve. Uh, I haven't really been practicing much, but uh, I'm now that the weather is turning, I'm going to actually head out here a lot more often and do a lot more uh, about the videos. I'm determined to, you know, get kind of proficient in FPV. So uh, I'm gonna start out with this and then I'm gonna probably get a, another FPV quad. You know, you guys stay tuned for more videos. Uh, this channel has done a little bit of a transition into different products and, or different drone related products. Something at least related to drones or you know, technology or something like that, other tech. So uh, you guys stay tuned for more reviews, uh, tutorials, and stuff like that. Once again, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And then also, you know, feel free to subscribe, you know, if you want to. With that said, you guys fly safe, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.